Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and let me just adjust the microphone real quick. It was awfully close to the blanket I'm currently sitting in, because it is friggin' cold. But, uh, I did manage to get some ender pearls, so I made some vibrant alloy. We need to turn this into nuggets, and we will put it around our emeralds. The only thing I don't like about this is you always end up with extra nuggets, which I guess in the long term is okay, but... So each one of these needs 10 levels, and as you can see, I've gone ahead and applied the uh, upgrades. So, we'll get 10 levels, and we'll start with the pick. I don't mind the sword too much, so I'd like to get the pick upgrade as much as possible first, because I'm going to be using it. So, there's a bunch of options. Ooh put a diamond shovel on it, and then it would also function as a shovel. But that would require another 10 levels. But as it currently stands, we need 10 levels to put on the basic capacitor. Now, if you'll notice, it said 50% damage absorbed before. Now it's 60. A double layer capacitor is 15 levels. So, oh, oh, that's not this. So, that is 15 levels, and after we do this, the octatic will be 20, and this will also be 75% power absorbed, or damage absorbed by power. So, 20 levels. That took quite a lot of what we have, so there's a very good chance we may not be able to completely upgrade our sword, but we should be able to get a good value on that. So 95% damage absorbed, plus it's got unbreaking 2. Uh, when I tested this with a sword in the previous world that I was working with to make sure the pack was stable. Actually, you know what? Since I established there's a very low chance I'll even be able to put that on there, I'll just do that. Uh, it the, the sword I was testing it on had like... I did like 200 uses before it had even taken a durability damage, so this will last a very long time. Uh, hmm. Now, I added sharpness, so the sword is actually stronger than this by two and a half, but it's about to get even stronger because it gains two damage when powered. So we can't do that quite yet. Whoops. Nope, come back. Ten levels. And, oh, I keep on clicking on the crafting bench. So, 50% damage absorbed by power. That's good, good. And now Enderman can't teleport once hit, so that's quite useful. Apply the basic capacitor. Doesn't increase, it, all this really increases at this point is the amount absorbed and the uh, cost. Oh, and we, this has plus efficiency when powered, but then it also has grotesque efficiency on obsidian, so I actually want to test that. I want to see how, just how fast it breaks obsidian. Wow. Might as well be using stone. Uh, that did take quite a bit of RF to break that, though. That's the only major downside. I'm not sure if that's the case with everything, but... Okay, so how many levels are left in here? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, we're a fraction of a level short of putting the double layer on, but that's okay. The only thing is, is I'm worried about the cost to repair this, which is going to be kind of painful. I do want to put an ender crystal on at least one of these. I'm only going to need it on one. Uh, what the ender crystal does is there's a thing in this mod called the Staff of Traveling, which is made with an ender crystal into dark steel. It'll allow it to function like that, meaning I can activate travel anchors, ender IO, or just genuinely, generally teleport. Uh, is there one other thing? No. No, it's just those two blocks. There is no other blocks. Uh, I'm probably gonna 
wear this sword out first, but as for this other pick, I think I'm just going to toss it. And I'll throw it here. So I did get this filled in. It is filled in with pretty much whatever I could get my hands on. I had to run another quarry to run it. But that's not what I want to check out at the moment. I can barely do this. I can only do it with one. Which, unfortunately, is the opposite of the direction I want to go with it. But uh, Paper, I think. Let's start by looking up Blueprint. Not that blueprint. Uh, that's the expensive one. So a piece of paper and a diamond. Now I'm assuming I don't have any paper left, but I do have plenty of this, so this will work fine. Get now. Okay. Paper and a diamond. So that that's not terribly useful by itself. And. Uh, we definitely want to do this. We need four glowstone, four redstone, two iron, some glass panes, which I've never made. But I can make them with this, so that's okay. I might as well just grab the whole stack, because I know it's going to be painful. I say painful because I need to make a projector lens, which needs two concave lenses and a convex lens. If I remember this right, that is a... Oh, this cannot be made with this, so I'm going to need to... Uh, that's seven, I believe they all... No, the first one takes five, the other two take seven, so 19. So I believe it's like that, yes. And then the other two, I believe, are like that. Nifty. So then I put them like this, the projector lens. I need two iron. Uh, one pane. And what was the last thing I need? Oh, right. So four of this, four of this. That is not how you make a glowstone block. And that is not how you put redstone in. But anyhow, now we can make a blueprint projector. This does not require any resources. And let's see, five by five by five. I can put that right here. I believe it projects one block away. Uh, this is going to end up in the way, so we'll move these around. Okay, and then I can put this in. So I need 98 tungsten plating. Oh, you hear that? Well, that's nifty. Now, here comes the fun part. Tungsten plating takes beryllium and two tungsten. And you get 16, and it'll just take six iron. Now, here's the good thing. I actually went and mined some netherrack and broke it down. That's how you get tungsten. Now we need 98, so let's just think about this for a second. That is six, seven crafts, right? Seven crafts at two each, so that is 14. And there's some brilliant in here as well, because we get that out of netherrack. And... So then we need 14 times 6. That's probably overkill, but... Okay, yeah, it was way overkill. Which is actually a good thing, because I didn't actually want to use up all my iron. So, we have more than enough of this. Which, we'll need more eventually. Trust me on that. And in terms of powering this, this is actually a terrible place to put it. Okay. Uh, oh, right, right, right. It's going to come this way. Now, I did have issues with this before where, for some odd reason, it... Yeah. See how it's missing some projections? But this one is a straight square, so there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, I don't know if there's any mine chem upgrades. Uh, I haven't checked for new versions lately, so... I don't know whether or not this has been fixed, but it's not really a huge issue. It becomes more of an issue when you try to make the fusion reactor, but honestly, I need the fusion reactor in order to really get somewhere really cool. 
Oh, and you do need the projector. If you do not have the projector in the blueprint, it will not complete the structure. So just keep that in mind, because that can cause issues. But the structure is complete. It uses RF. The fission chamber splits elements in half, resulting in two elements with half the atomic number of the original. This process is powered by RF. So, it's not, like, terribly amazing by itself, but once you get the fusion chamber, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff, so. But, we do not have the diamonds for that. So that is a problem. And I'm most likely going to need to go mine up more netherrack. So I guess we'll stay away from that for this exact second. Uh... And I can't really gain access to some things without the fusion chamber, so... I mean, I can, but... The fusion chamber makes the world a lot simpler. Uh, you still burning in there? Hmm. Decent bit. Uh, we'll grab half a stack. There. So... Oh, you know what? We can actually, because it became nighttime. Uh, I'll drag them over here. Hey. Hey, come here. You guys can come too. Ow. Look at this. I've got a monster fire. Not a monster fire, a uh, XP fire. Just by being and by base. Oh, good. Holy crap. Hey, come back here. So I have more zombie flesh, and I know what to do with this as well, so there's that. Ooh, zombie head. Oh, God, stop! I'm gonna end up with the 15 levels needed just from this, this raid. Okay. That's where I draw the line. Skeletons start shooting at me. Line is drawn. French toast, everybody, so that way I can easily go out and get what I need. And there we go. Bam. So this actually has 11.75 damage. So... Should be able to two-shot zombies, no problem. Uh, whenever you upgrade it, it does lose all the power in it, so... That's part of the reason why I did not apply any power. But there we go. I've uh, not quite broken this sword. There's five hits left. I should have just used the last five hits, but... Oh, you cheeky skeleton. Not probably has two hits left. One hit, right. Because you take double durability when breaking something. Oh no! It has broken. Whatever will I do? I'll just put that there. So, those are things I'm going to keep around, obviously, because, yeah. But, uh... I could be really, 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 really rude... And you can actually apply chemicals to weapons, although I might completely disable that feature, because it, it, it's absolutely retarded. And what I mean by it's... It's just stupid, because you can apply the same effect repeatedly onto something. And the list of effects, like, you can get something that applies two minutes of wither onto something. Alright, that's full... Two minutes of wither, that's overkill. To the maximum. Also, I've put uh, one, one, one or two water in each of these. Mmm, delicious. So, uh, I, 
I guess I kind of just destroyed what I was going to do here a little bit. Mm. Huh. So I have very little I can work with at this exact second. Because I need blaze rods in order to... You know what? I can make a bow. Might as well make one. I need blaze rods in order to get boilers. And boilers are going to be a large chunk of my power. Power? Not power. Power is not the word I'm looking for. Oh, yes. Well, the blaze rods themselves aren't, but they're a key, in, a, 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 a key component. So, yeah. And uh, I'll take all my arrows. I'll twenty three of them. That's disappointing. Get rid of the paper. Don't need to be carrying the wrench or the capacitor with me. I'll keep the atlas. And don't need the bucket of water. Okay. I guess we'll uh go try to acquire some blaze rods. Uh, no, I don't really have any blocks to work with. If I want to do that, I'm going to have to mine some blocks in here. Which I actually might. You can see this is where I was gathering my netherrack. So, I'm curious. It's at full durability. And it's not quite at full power. Why are you not at full power? Oh, well. Oh, yes, I can instant break netherrack with it, which is good. Now, honestly, nether bricks are a better source of the the tungsten and beryllium. Not because they actually have a higher chance of yielding them, but because nether brick and nether bricks, uh, they have a higher chance to provide an output at all inside of the decomposer. So, yeah. Oh, I lost... I lost durability. Oh. I kind of broke 256 things. I used 200,000 RF and... How much durability? About 20. So... It's good for about 15,000 blocks before it was to break. And then I can... I still have the option of repairing. Uh, where... Where was that nether fortress? Does the fortress show up on this? Because that'd just be amazing. Nope. Blank as blank can be. Because it's probably based on the ceiling of the nether. So it's really only good for the waypoint. Or marker, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, nether fortress. It's time for you and me... Why does it sound like it's under me? Oh. Oh. Well, that's convenient. About that's convenient, I mean a pre enclosed blaze spawner. Uh. Ow. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ow. Yep. Yep. I knew better. I knew I should have waited for full health, and I knew I should have shot them instead of trying to run in, but... Did I do either of those? No. No. Good news is... is I should be able to get to my stuff pretty easily. 
in theory. The only real concern is maybe running out of food before I get there, but that's... The chance of that happening is slim to none. But I do like how I have a pre-enclosed blaze spawner. Oh, this is bad. Oh. I didn't even realize I was wearing the backpack. I could have broken that. And that would have made me sad. Do I have one blaze rod? It's not going to get me too terribly far, but it'll get me somewhere, I suppose. You know what? There shouldn't be anything in it. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them now. So, I've acquired some blaze rods, and now. Oh, the stupid skeleton. Go away. Okay, so. I like to do this, first of all. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm creating areas that, are, that basically turn sections of this into safe areas. So it's easier to fight the blazes. Just need one more. Oh, that is some spooky music. And I can two shot them, so that makes life much simpler. Blazes? So I can t convert these into six blaze powder in the decomposer and the synthesizer. So that'll make life simpler on that degree. Uh, you know what? Ow. Okay, you both die because he hit me. <sighs> Sigh. So, I'll put these here to signify that. And so now I have a place where I can farm blazes in a relative safety. And that's actually pretty much the most perfect blaze spot I could possibly get because it means I don't have to worry about them escaping, I don't have to worry about them spawning outside, and I didn't have to build a room myself. So, that has done me a major convenience. Save me nether egg so I can break down nether egg, and I should gather some nether brick, but I didn't. Ah! So, uh, I'm gonna place this on the ground here. So, I used some arrows, actually, a decent number of arrows, but we're not gonna talk about that. We are going to, first of all, decompose these. Now, as you can see, radioactive. So I need to, well, I've got five hours. But I've got five hours to turn these into blaze powder before that would deteriorate. So i got 24 blaze powder. Now, oh right, I murdered all that clay. Well, most of it. I think I'm going to start with, actually, where is my rolling machine? I will put the rolling machine somewhere. I'll put it on this side. Here. Low pressure boilers are more efficient. And how quickly am I going to jump into turbines? Hmm. Well, there comes the issue of I have not 
really anything capable to set up anything at the moment. I need diamonds more than anything right at this very moment. Like, tons of diamonds. Which is kind of bad. That I need diamonds so badly. And you know what I can make? This is going to hurt. But it's going to make my life much simpler. Oh. Eh. Speaking of steel, I can make steel in this thing. It's actually stupid. I say it's stupid because one piece of steel is super cheap. Like, let me just let me just show you this. We look at steel. It's one piece of carbon, which you remember you get eight from coal, and fifteen iron, but you get sixteen from an ingot, which means that if you make 15 ingots of steel, right? Yes. 15 ingots of steel, or 15 iron ingots, you actually get 16 ingots of steel. So, actually get a pretty good bonus there. Are you out? It is out. Uh, da, 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 da. Sulfur. There you go. Burn that. And fill this up. And fill this up. There. So, I have a sword. It's not, like, extremely amazing. But it's as good as I'm going to have for a very long time. I just need to accrue some experience now. Where did I put that? Oh, it's up here. I just need to accrue some experience so I can put the final tier on this one. And then I'll probably put travel, probably, possibly, maybe, on the pick. Because the pick is something I'm definitely going to keep. The sword I may eventually replace. Because, uh... I'm actually planning on putting Silk Touch on the pick eventually. Well, the sword increases drops of heads, so I might actually need this as well. It's an army! They won't stop coming! Nighttime is a dangerous place. In my XP farm of not quite. It's actually kind of comical. If I set it up right, I could put them into a water path and then lead them under a roof and then just let them collect up. And then it would be a proper XP farm. Is that everything? Am I safe? Ish. Uh. Excuse me. Do you mind? I would like you to go away. And also provide me XP. At the same time. How much XP do I have if I take those? Things? 20! So we can end this on. Uh, poor Octated Capacitor. I told you you could have that, but. I lied. Give me that back. Uh, da, 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 da. What was I doing? Right. Bam, bam. There we go. The inventory finished updating. And out goes a million RF. There we go. Now the sword is ready to live. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. I should consider making armor at some point. Ow, oh, oh, oh crap. Things have gotten dangerous. Ugh. Ugh. 
Ha ha ha. Take that, zombies. So, we're at 30 minutes. And I've actually accomplished everything I wanted to do today. So, I'm going to call this good. And next time, we are going to probably work on power generation. Uh, I'm probably going to do some quarrying. Large quarry. Oh! Oh, that blood works. But the uh, the blood from taking... It's taking fall damage, not count? Excuse me. Zombies. Zombies. Hey. Good, uh... Why don't you come over here? Shoot me a favor and punch me in the legs. You, punch me. Punch me. Here, I'll give you a... Oops. I'll give you a stepping stone. Huh. No blood. Weird. You can't have that anymore. I do need to make a fusion reactor as soon as possible, but I'm going to need eight more diamonds for that. Which I'll be able to craft up, so it's not all bad, but... I don't really like crafting diamonds... But I haven't been getting, like, jackal from quarrying, so... I don't know on that approach. I do want some more octatic capacitors, but that's going to require finding a vendorman, and, well, that's been kind of not really happening. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day!